Hello friends, welcome back to Real S Academy. In this session, we are going to talk about the limitations with the runtime practice. So when you are when you are suggesting solutions to your clients, right, they should definitely know what are the limitations behind any any technology, right? So that's what we are going to talk about here, runtime pattern. Okay, so so we talk about what business uh, you know, requirement is according to the business requirement, we suggest the solution to our client. And we are suggesting the client, you know, solution to the client, we consider some technologies, right? Whether it's a messaging tool or you know, any field tool or any CICD pipeline, or whichever we select, we should know the limitations behind the client. Then only, you know, uh, you can do the setup accordingly, you know, based on the uh, limitations. Okay. So let's jump on to the session. Before moving forward to the session, I encourage everyone to please subscribe to the channel. Please hit the like button, they like it for that. We gave you know notification to the upcoming videos. Okay. Thanks. So let's start with the you know limitation first. So which is like you know how many nodes you can have in your you know uh, RTA. So RTA is basically a cluster container service. Okay. So we have two flavors of that. We, if you have not seen my first you know, uh, you know session on this RTA, I'll encourage you to go to that session. And I'll add the link uh, yeah, you know, below in the description as well. So, uh, you know, so as I said, right, this is a cluster, okay, cluster container service. So definitely cluster how many nodes we should have. What kind of nodes will be there in our, uh, you know, in our cluster? So there are two types of nodes over there. There is something called you know, you know, control node and that's something called worker node. Okay. So in case of a client, this this maximum you can have, you know, around uh, you know uh, five controller nodes and you can go to 16 worker nodes. There is a limit. Okay. So here also you can go for you know day separately. So you can start with you know uh, in the day we can start with one controller node and two worker nodes in production you can go with the three plus three that is three controller nodes plus three worker nodes okay you can do that in you know bring your own kubernetes where it is a you know uh, rtf on self-managed kubernetes where we <coughs> we have you know uh, restrictions or limitations we can say we can have combination of these two we can say 30 nodes you can have okay and it supports the odd numbers so you know always the cluster you know you should have odd numbers okay so in the day the same concept you can start with one and in product you can go with the you know at least uh, three three three, plus, three, plus three, so three control for three worker okay. so there are some limitations in the in you know self kubernetes you don't have access to the control mode no access to the control mode okay here in appliance, right? You can install this appliance on any any infrastructure because in appliance you'll get RTF with Docker and Kubernetes software from the new software itself. So this you can install on your laptop anywhere. But here Kubernetes, you know, a vendor will be there. Right? So you need to bring your Kubernetes. So here you won't be having you know control over control or more. Here you can find. Okay. And then node type, basically what kind of nodes we can have in our, in our you know, uh, RTA. So as I said, appliance we are deploying anywhere. If it is a laptop, right? So there is no restriction on you know, node type over there. But in cell Kubernetes, yes, there is a restriction. It has to be, it has to be VM-based. It has to be VM-based. And it should not be burstable VM. Okay, burstable VM basically it works on credit, right? So there will be a, some benchmark, and if you don't use the, you know, the configuration tree, that benchmark, you'll be, you know, uh, you'll be, you know, you get the credits. And then uh, sometimes if there is a peak comes, right? Some spike comes, right? That that credit, whatever is, you know, uh, committed there, those credits we can use, and we can we can, you know, uh, execute our task with a high high quality. So those kind of VMs, uh, you know, instances are not supported by here. So there is no, you know, restrictions on applying, but yes, there is a restriction here. Okay. Then we talk about the the replica per application. How many replicas for the high availability? How many 
how many replicas we can deploy per application. Okay. So here in, in, in both the case, okay, in both the case, I mean, there is a there is a there is a count called we can go ahead and deploy our application, you know, of eight replicas. So we can go ahead and in the psycho is also we can go ahead and deploy eight, you know, eight applications, you know, eight replica sorry, replica of your uh, meal application, you know, uh, you can have. Okay. Then a replica per node. Okay. So in RDF, the minimum size of your uh, you know, uh, repo you can go is 0 0.0. You can go from 0 0.02. Okay. And per node, okay, in the VM. So when we're talking about the coupon case, per node, you can go with the 2v4, that is the minimum requirement for here, 2v4. And 15 GB of memory. 15 GB of memory. Okay. Yes. So think about it. If you are going with this, okay. Okay. So you can have here. So if you go with this, you can have, you know, point, uh, point zero two. So you can have here, you know, there is a, there is a limitation to, you know, work your mode properly. You can go with 40. Okay. 40 per node. And for one one B core, you can go 20 to 25. So this would be you know, the limited thing you have in RP to, to perform to you know achieve the zero downtime, the redeployment part, we should go with you know 40. That is what the per worker node, okay, 40, 40 replicas, and per you know per uh, uh, we code we can say per per core and uh, you know you should go with 22 25. Okay, so that's that's about the self self you know, self Kubernetes and a same restrictions we have limitation on you know, uh, you know on the appliance also. Okay, so then <clears throat> so then we talk about the, the associated environment. So here Runtime fabric and environment is a many to many combination. Okay, so many to many mapping you can say. So in 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 let's talk about the appliance. In appliance, I will say that here in the restriction for the you know replica per node. So you can go per node 40 and per week you can go 20 to 25 replica. Okay, that's the same you know limitations in the appliance. Then how many uh, environments you can you can you know uh, associate with the runtime fabric. You can go as much fifty. Okay. okay. Same with the business group. You can go and in one business group you can have fifty, you know, fifty runtime fabrics. Okay. Here in environments, we can per environments you can go. You know, um, uh, it's like uh, you know fifty. So that is what the count. So if you go with the you know uh, appliance, it's 50 50. So in I you know uh, one runtime fabric can associate 50 environments, and one business group you can have 50 runtime fabric instances. Okay. And in self Kubernetes, per you know, uh, in, uh, you know, you can have 50, you can have 50 environments associated with RPF. Okay, 50 environments. Per architecture. In case of business group, you can go till 100. Okay. So in this case, let, let me let me talk about the environment a little bit. So let's say you have you have let's say business group cells uh, and you have a chart. Okay. So let me so you have a chart and you have sales. Okay. Sales business. In sales business group, you have fraud environment. And in HR, you have Dave as well as you have Prof. So now when you associate this Dave from HR, Prof from HR, and Sales from, uh, uh, you know, Prof from Sales, these are three different environments, okay? So like this, you can associate 50 environments with your RPO. Okay, you need to do, you need to associate this manually. When you create RPF, no environments, no business will be associated with your RPO. Okay, so you need to do this manually. So you should know that 
okay what is the limitation okay here in and you know a, under one business group you can have uh, you know 50 instances of affiliate in sub business group also you can have 50 so 50 plus 50 you can go 1500 okay, okay. let's talk about the you know hardware required so that is also important when you talk about you know, so <clears throat> Let me let me you know first first let's talk about the support I will come back to these two points you know, because uh, these these are information for that RTF supports okay in both scenarios RTF supports only eight zero eight one guys you get surprised here okay how your you know SKDP and SKDP both you know uh, are accessible on eight zero so that is the limitation okay you need to understand this okay. So only 8081 is supported by RPF. So uh, that's again we can see the limitation, or uh, you know maybe we can see that's a feature of you know our RTF. Okay. So let's talk about the the you know the hardware requirement and the band bandwidth requirement. So let's talk about the band. So when we are talking about the bandwidth network you know high bandwidth network is required with the minimum right? minimum we need one gbps connectivity between each node okay so let's say in our control nodes we have worker nodes between those worker nodes communication should happen on one gbps okay GBPS. And when we are doing outbound calls, sorry, that is the bandwidth requirement. Sorry. Okay. And when we are talking about that is the communication between the nodes, one with your plan. Okay. When we are talking about the outbound calls, when you are going on internet. So for that, you need 100 Mbps. 100 Mbps. These are the minimum requirement of bandwidth for RT. Okay. So let's jump on to the and in, in the same context, okay, in the same context, because of this, uh, you know, uh, connectivity and performance, RTF won't support cross regional deployments. You cannot deploy, you know, applications cross regional. So that is not supported by RTF, okay, because of the network latency between each node. This can cause a lot of problems in your cluster, cluster type system, okay. Then we we'll talk about the hardware requirement. What what all is needed when you are looking for RTF cluster? Okay, so minimum it, it, it supports only you know both it, in 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 your uh, you know, uh, appliance or in your uh, PYO. It supports sixty four and EPC packet only. Okay, your operating system to be you know. 56 and 64 architecture. Okay. And runtime fabric, this fabric, runtime fabric, it, it, you know, it can reserve, okay, it can reserve up to, it can reserve up to 0 0.5 to V code, okay, 0 0.5 V code per V code, sorry, say VC for worker for internal service. Okay. It can go to 0 0.5 V code for internal services. So let's say, okay, and this is really important when you are determining the you know uh, amount of CPU cores and worker nodes needed. So for example, okay, so for example, your runtime fabric would have three worker nodes and two CPU cores for each worker node. So that means if logically if you think. Uh, it should be a six V cores. Okay? So three worker nodes, two CPU cores means two CPU core per uh, you know, worker node. That means um, six V cores. No, so all six V cores won't be available for your deployment. Okay, because some part of that V core allocated to the worker, those will be used for internal services. So you know, minimum will go with. You know, maximum it can go to 0.5, minimum it can go to 0.3. So if I if I 
count now the available record format deployment 0.3.3.3 that is 0.9 so it will show you only 5.1 record is available record is available for your application decision. okay so yeah so that you know these things when you when you suggest the solution to your your client you need to think about all these things okay and these are the limitations there are many limitations but these are the important limitations when you think about the you know rtf okay so that's all from this session hope you like it hope you feel it useful please share with your friends okay please hit the bell icon please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you're not thank you for watching bye bye